All right, welcome back to another challenging farm video because those don't exist in Borderlands 3 according to some people. Today we're hunting the elusive boomsicle. If you guys have ever seen this thing before, you've seen almost a unicorn. This thing's a little more common than our other item we were hunting the other day, the, uh, the perfect anarchy, which we didn't get yet, by the way, just so you know. <laughs> uh, but what makes the boom sickle the boom sickle? All right. Well, what this gun is, this is a, a flat off assault rifle, but it has a under barrel shotgun attachment. And that turns this thing into quite literally a shotgun because it does not have an alternate firing mode where you choose between assault rifle and shotgun. It's just a shotgun at that point whether you want it to be or not it does shotgun damage it's called an underbill shotgun and so on and so forth now this thing can roll with uh multiple grips and grip accessories foregrip and rail these things can change i i don't know the drop rate on this thing but i can tell you that uh, number one you need it to, to roll with the underbill shotgun it's a 16.7 percent chance for it to roll with the underbarrel shotgun so your odds of getting the underbarrel shotgun aren't horrible oh all sickles have the underbarrel shotgun okay wait what makes it okay so what makes it the boom sickle then i'm confused so hold on wait what makes it the boom sickle we're gonna scratch all that it's a unique underbarrel that transforms it okay see this is uh this is what it is for me too man this is a learning experience for me as well all right well let's go let's go farm up our first one and see all right, so the reason that we come here to the trial of cunning and we're going to turn on true trials mode, you have to do this, is because at the end of this, the boss for this particular true trials can drop the sickle and drops it very often, as a matter of fact. So we're going to run through here, kill them a bunch of times a day. We're going to pop open some red chests, get some loot for viewers. It's going to be a fun day. You guys are going to enjoy this. If you guys want to come watch it live, twitch.tv slash killer6 you too can earn some loot for yourself up first though we got a viewer badass and they're trying really hard to ruin my iron bear it's not going great for him though so far it's zor prime looking like he's got k6 aim over here missing all of his shots good try zor prime now the cool thing about doing this on true trials is you don't have to complete it in a certain amount of time you know how when you're normally doing proving grounds if you don't complete it fast then you don't get the sweet loot from the chest at the end not in uh true trials in true trials it doesn't matter how long it takes you to complete it you can take your time it's all about whether or not you kill that final boss who's going to be essentially a raid boss level enemy and you'll see what i'm talking about when we get there because they're going to be crazy claptrap just like to give claptrap a good quick high five you know all right so as you can see the tink of cunning a little beefier <laughs> when you're on true trials has a lot of hp so we're gonna hop into iron bear is that a is that wheel possessed or something did you guys see that wheel that was behind him it was like it's floating in circles oh there it went it just threw it at me okay well so much shit <laughs> what the hell happened there dude so in addition to uh having raid boss health they do also have raid boss damage if you uh if you let them hit you it's gonna end badly for you most of the time just want to remind people that this uh mo's build shreds hemavorous faster than this if you're wondering if if this guy's health value is legit pretty crazy all right let's see what we got got us a skull masher and a skull masher no boom sickle no sickle at all on run number one but we got two skull mashers we can also pop this chest and give my viewers watching live on twitch some free loot and it's always going to be legendaries in this chest so let's see what we get wow <laughs> okay holy shit that is a beautiful blast master this one is sexy taking it Ooh, a cloning hunter seeker for you flak mains front loader and another blast master this one's shotgun damage the other blast master is better but holy crap dude good start or at least for you know you guys me on the other hand not so much you just double checked in game the in game weapon part list the boomsicle part does not oh hey lone masterina what's up man the uh boomsicle part does not show up at all this is an artifact of the part ar vla boomsicle not being assigned a part inspector viewer attribute from what i can tell it also does not have a model attached to it meaning there's no visual difference between a sickle and a boomsicle wow that is really good to know thank you lone masterino holy shit there you go random legendary somebody sneezed we got a random legendary and you know whatever that legendary is it's going to be something that's just god tiered end game guys hold on we're going to go find out just how how right we are 
All right, so this one definitely has a different grip. All right, so the body accessories are fixed, correct? I believe the body accessories are all fixed on this thing. Uh, the underbarrel shotgun. Yeah, again, you can't see the boomsicle thing for this, unfortunately. All right, got all them sickles you crave. Okay, that was fun. Love hopping out of Iron Bear and dying instantly. Oop, oop. Dude, if those things hit you, you get messed up. Woo, got him. All right, what we got? All right, there's a storming sickle and a raz res sickle and a quasar. <laughs> okay, well, at least we got two sickles that time. Your badass is T-Pros. It's like a T-Pose, but, you know, a little tastier and more like a story. Uh, is it pros? No? Anybody? No? Okay. What's this What's this drop here? What, what is up with the random world drop sickles, dude? <laughs> okay. Neat. Thanks, man. Ooh, Trevenator. Nice. Another mines. Oh, shit. Look at that one. That's plus four to fire in the skag den, dudes. Ah, uh, weapon reload speed and shield capacity. And the rolls at the bottom aren't great, but. And then another blast man. Holy crap. We're getting the blast masters and the minesweepers. That one's pretty dope, too. Splash damage radius, weapon reload speed, tor torg weapon damage. And a phase zerker if you're an Amara main. Flat off weapon damage, Jacob's weapon reload speed. Holy cow, you guys got some options. Obviously, the Trevenator, if you haven't used the Trevenator since launch, you are missing out. This gun is dope as hell. And the reference is even more dope. All right, let's uh, let's get crazy. You guys wanna get crazy? I like getting crazy. <laughs> That's why you can't do this thing. It's deadly. Fire blindly into the sky. Clay had the right idea. Clay had the right idea, guys. He knew what he was talking about. Shit. Unless they get right beside you. Damn! That was some serious damage there, dude. Holy shit. This grenade game was fire. Ruby. I got a Dobby and a Dobby. Double Dobby. Teach me how to Dobby. Teach me, teach me how to Dobby. No? Nobody? Okay. Cool. Uh oh, the shit did he throw like a storm or something? What the hell was that? Quasar, another blast master. Man, we are getting the blast masters like crazy. Elemental projector white elephant. This is actually pretty good. Cryo damage, radiation damage. That's not bad. And then a last stand auto idle. That's pretty good too. This one has luck on it, but you know, luck doesn't really increase your uh, legendary stuff. Negating sickle and another dobby. Still no boom sickle. You're a badass. Oh no. It's Biker621. Got his name because he wears biker shorts when he goes to the mall, terrorizing the old ladies. Biker, good fight, man. Sorry about the mall. Good lord, the damage. The damage. That guy got yeeted. That little tin guy yeeted. Dude's grenades like stick to you and like follow you around, man. Ah! <laughs> Shit. Come here, Guardian. Come save me. Thank you. Like, don't look at my crotch. Don't look at my crotch. Skull Masher and Skull Masher this time. No boom. Oh, got a Phasor. You guys have not used the Phasor. Let me tell you, you're missing out. <laughs> the actual uh, gun itself, eh, you know, not great. But when you switch to the underbarrel shotgun, oh my God, this thing slaps. Special on Moe's. It is possibly the best shotgun in the game at that point. I don't want no scrub. Scrub is a guy I can't get. No, no, won't be. That was 30 million damage, that's all. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. And boom sickle. <laughs> we got one, dudes. Hey, that is that that's not max damage though. It's not max damage. <laughs> but we got one. Alright, on run 12. Yeah, it's higher damage, but one less mag, a slight reduction in fire rate. Cool, cool, cool. First boom sickle, run 12. Claptrap, I'll protect you. Stay behind me. Oh no, I shot Claptrap. I'll protect you. Immediately shoots him. How I roll, man. You can't get hurt if you're dead. Holy shit, man. This guy is all about freezing my ass. He does not want to do anything but freeze me right now. I'm going to die. That was chaos. Skull Master, Dastardly, not max damage, and Iron Will, not max damage, and a Minesweeper again. This one's flat off weapon reload speed and grenade damage. Damn, dude. Hold up, that could be fun with like the Boogeyman. <laughs> That's a Boogeyman Minesweeper right there. On True Trials, it's all about whether or not you can beat this boss. You have to be able to beat this boss and then you get the loot. Damn. All right, what we got? Vengeful Sickle and a, another Skull Masher. All right, what we got? It's Mace! Huh, 
Never had a chance. Good fight, Mace. Don't worry, Claptrap's here. There's always a Claptrap nearby. Aw, oh, man, they got him again. Poor thing. I had to take a microphone with Oh, he's doing it again. He's gone invincible mode. Okay, so maybe it's something to do with the... Um, maybe it's something to do with the Infernal Wish. Maybe there's something going on with the Infernal Wish that uh, that borks him taking damage. Because then I have to switch to the... Um, the revolter yeah now he's taking damage all right but these bosses don't have any mechanics <laughs> turns up his ac launches like a ton of freaking nukes at me what are you guys kidding me getting my ass beat over here okay right. okay what the hell <laughs> what the hell was that <laughs> you having shit fly by my face man it's freaking me out a little bit Whew. holy hell uh unflappable skull masher and breakneck skull masher still no perfect skull masher either Dobby and a hey, negating boomsicle. All right, Cryo, what's max damage on Cryo? Boomsicle 24, 739. Oh, so close. So close, man. Yoink, run 17, second boomsicle. Still not max damage. He just randomly starts like not taking anywhere near as much damage. Oh, wait. <laughs> Lord, man. Why use facts when I can use my feelings? Ooh, double recharge stopgap. 30% recharge rate on that thing. That's pretty damn nice, guys. Reroll that thing to have the action skills start? Maybe he does. I'm actually not sure. Stormy Sickle, Ashley Skullmasher, Red Guard, Cut Purse. We've been getting lots of Cut Purses lately, dude. 